night. I don't think either one of us are up for two a.m. feeding. It's never very easy to lose a patient, even when it's a hood like Doug Lamont. Loss is such a bizarre word for pain, don't you think? I mean, you lose your job, your money, your husband or your wife. After they're gone, you're still left with something. It's just that what you're left with hurts so damn much. I guess that's a feeling we both understand pretty well. Yeah, I guess it is. Oh, oh, don't tell me that Michael has sent another gift to Gregory uh, from no, Hawaii. No, actually, that's not from Michael. I, I, I bought that myself. It's, since his birthday is tomorrow, I, I thought I'd get him something really special. It's, it's a combination of high chair, walker, and all-around scooter-type vehicle. Got to get this boy some wheels. Yeah, uh, some assembly acquired, re required. You, yes. you, know, you know what that means. Yes, I do. Yes. It means I'm going to be up half the night. Huh? That's okay. I'm a little too jacked up to sleep anyway. Yeah, you need some help? Well, sure. Yeah, unless, you know, you're too tired. I, I, I... Yeah, I'll put on a, a pot of tea and I'll get your toolbox and we'll knock this off in like five, six hours. No problem. Yeah. Well, look, I've got a call. What do you want to bet it's from the hospital? Uh, but... I wish one night I'd just go without one of those. Hi, it's Cass. Uh, Frankie, I'm sorry to be calling so late. If, if you happen to be there, would you please pick up? Well, guess not. Uh, listen... I'm not feeling so well. And if you get this message, please call back. I don't care how late it is. Thanks. Bye. I'm sure I can wait till morning. You really didn't sound too good, Frankie. No, we didn't. I'll put on the kettle and then maybe I'll call. Uh, listen, Frankie, before you do, I, I'd like to talk to you. About what? About you, about Cass what you two mean to each other. After all, I do have an interest in this. Yeah. 